Next up, judging round four, the chicken course. He is the noted chef and owner behind LA Landmarks, Redbird and Viviana. Please welcome the amazing Neil Fraser. <laughs> really good to see you. Let's begin with Mary Lou. Describe your dish to chef, please. Thank you. What you're going to have is going to be a pan-seared airline chicken and dewy sausage pan gravy. I might have, like, fried the Brussels sprouts or just given them a little more texture, but I think it all works together. Yeah! yeah. Um, second dish, please, Corey. Um, so I did a nice pan-seared roasted chicken, and then I did a roasted cauliflower, and I finished it with some fresh lemon zest and fresh lemon juice. I think there's some acidity in the cauliflower. I might have maybe gone more aggressively with that but I think a chicken's cooked perfect. Declan, oh. please, describe to chef. Thank you. So I took the idea of a corn-fed chicken supreme with uh, corn and bacon succotage, and the chicken demi finished with uh, rosemary and thawing. And I think that's aggressively seasoned, which to me is what I'm looking for. Well done. Thank you very much. Let's start off judging with Declan. Where are we going, chef? Out of 10. I give a 10. 10, wow. <laughs> Brilliant. We're back in the game. Right, Corey's dish with the two purees. Not as strong as the first dish, but I would give it a nine. A nine. Wow. Nice. And then Mary Lou's dish. I'm going to give it an eight. An eight. Give it up for the amazing Neil Fraser. This is a great job. And now, finally, he is a culinary Hall of Fame inductee. He has multiple Michelin stars to go with his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the godfather of cuisine, Wolfgang Puck. Oh, hey. Hello. Oh. Wolfgang Puck. I'm Wolfgang. Everybody fucking knows Wolfgang Puck. Chef. Yes? Trust me, they definitely know who you are. Yeah? Uh, you never uh, know. The fifth and final round, the red meat category. The yeah. scores are very, very close. All down to you, no all pressure. All down to me, all right. Corey, please. Uh, describe your dish to chef, please. Thank you. Okay. I have a pan-seared filet, a bourbon demi underneath, and I had a little bit of fresh rosemary in it to give it that kind of sexy, earthy flavor to it. Sexy, all Very right. Sexy. <laughs> Just like you, chef. Okay. That, no, Corey, now stop flirting with Wolfgang. Well, I think visually it looks good, but at the end it has to taste good, you know. Last dish, I have to bring it home. Nice and tender. Very well executed. Right, next up. Declan, pass your filly down, Declan. Please. So for my final dish, everything about the food that is on this plate is my blood, sweat and tears over the years that I've worked. Beautiful cooking. Look at that. Anybody wants a taste out so there? <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> so this is a, a pan roasted uh, fillet of beef with a palm fondant, sauteed king oyster mushrooms, and then served with a morel cream sauce. It's perfectly cooked this year. It's great. I like the mushrooms with it. Very well executed. Thank Thanks you very much, Chef. Chef. Great job. Thank you. Mary Lou, please, uh, describe your dish to Chef. What I have for you is a ribeye crusted in a little bit of ancho chili dust. It's finished with a red wine demi. I love ribeyes. Mm. Good job. Pretty really good. Thank yeah. you. Amazing. Locking those thoughts. Great. Now you've got some tough work to do. Mary Lou's dish first, the ribeye. This is the moment of truth. I only have a one-point lead over Corey and a two-point lead over Declan, so it's literally anyone's game. OK, I will give it an eight. An eight. Amazing. Corey's dish, chef. This is going to be a photo finish, and I think this is the winning dish. I will give her a nine. A nine. Amazing. It's all down to Declan's chef. You know, there's three of us at the top. Only two can go through to the final. This has to be my KO, because I'm fighting for my life. He cooked the filet really well, but I will give him a seven. A seven. Give it up for our Hell's Kitchen finalists, please. Corey and Mary Lou. I feel so validated, so so recognized. I feel like I, I just didn't know my full potential. Now it's like, oh, I feel the power. Oh, boy. God. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Final two. And one of those two is me. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wolfgang Park, ladies and gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. All of you join me in giving up for this incredible man, Declan, honestly. You made your family and your country extremely proud. I am heartbroken, but this was an opportunity of a lifetime. Chef Ramsay, I've done my best for you. It's such an honor to work for you. I feel proud of myself and the job I did.